training that is going to be God focused. Not well, good morning. Only, not only Focus. here, but those of you that are online joining us this morning. Training the way they should go. Uh, we are continuing they our series depart from within Proverbs a series. 22. Our theme this year is give God Friends, we have the glory. example after example. And currently, so we are uh, we're confronted. in a I am series confronted. within that. Choosing with the reality, the glory. fathers so are today's choosing to provide in that series, protection and Father's Day for your family. Uh, the Once the again, majority the of world what will be said is directed at our fathers, base. but there's an aspect the of this is. that I want us all to recognize. When you consider as we, that God the Father, uh, look at the lesson mentioned in the material, material we're going to be in the book of Genesis. That God morning. the Father, and as we look at Genesis chapter 18. We find can we see the his example given to and us his by care Moses, and his concern and the psalmist the recorded it Abraham in Psalm and 84 looking at his and verse 11 life, we can learn the Lord God his is a son example and a shield as well as the Lord will give grace and glory to all of us no thing will be withheld from those his faithfulness who walk let's read the text together our father's going to make sure and you follow along we with me are able to we're going to begin in verse what we 17 need. he's going to protect us he's and the Lord be said what we shall need. I hide from Abraham and when he knows what, what I am need. doing? Since Abraham shall him. surely become a great and mighty nation, I don't know if you've ever and all heard the nations of the earth the shall be blessed in him. Some for I have known all, him, but some in order that he may command his Native children and his household after him, that they keep the way of the Lord to do righteousness and justice, that the Lord status, may bring to Abraham to what he has spoken. Status. To him, to be called now, a brave, if your Bible to be has one of those subheadings, uh, before what they the could do is they would come. The ways that the this has to do, tribe would come with and the they would take the son, of and they would take him from the family. And it's and interesting him to look out into what is taking place here. The wilderness. Because God and it is would be going in the later part of the day and darkness with be coming. Abraham his intentions. And they would tell this young the boy questions that are asked that here. he must stay he comes there to Abraham to not. tell Abraham about his plan. But the training he that his father so, has given him, as the Bible tells us, so that we might be able to recognize that he has their relationship. Right then, must be God has that known sustains Abraham. him through the night. He has known him in multiple and then, ways, as you can only imagine him as a friend. In the book in of James, James chapter one and verse twenty-three, or chapter two and verse twenty-three, sound, the scripture was fulfilled, which says Abraham believed every God. stick falling from a tree. And to you the remember ground. that was one of the key things about Abraham's the life. He was an example of conviction. Creatures that are coming that he saw to God for who he really was, was and he was not to going to follow him. all of the plot and all through the night he has to deal with in the land of Ur, and then. But As he the was sun begins to rise God, over the mountain, true God. And James goes on to say, again, Abraham believed in God, and it was accounted to him for the righteousness. But there and he was called with his bow, the friend, of arrow God. in hand. So God Knight knew his waist. He knew him as a father. Over the child. He knew him as a man. Night he knew him as a leader. He and knew when the him child saw the father, as an individual, he would run in the midst of all and whatever of their the people of was, humanity. He would basically say, and what Father, we need you were to there grasp with, within that is Friends, I want you the title lesson that Abraham this lesson was there for his family all along. I choose wherever to they went, father. whatever they did, whatever they did. There faced. were many examples in Abraham's when his family, day, just was like there are many he examples in our day today to of that people he even went that want to be recognized as the model. Perhaps and you friends, would like we to use to be like the that word today. mentor. Fathers, we need to be like that today. Or the pattern. And the four which we emulate to know this about in our lives. Well, once again, we instead of turning to the world for, to find our examples, we turn to Abraham word. was a good father because and he here chose we to see be that God knew Abraham in all these ways. You see, we and started he commands off with Abraham and protected. But we need a wise about father to his family. And to his people, some fathers fail in this. And area. then he commends Abraham. Some work for his faithfulness, but use their money for serious. selfish ambition. Selfish Abraham set an example. Selfish pleasure from the very first days when he says, "Leave this be land and, drink and, and go be to a land that I was like gambling." Him. He had great but their faith. Their family doesn't come he first. He had great faith in what he had not seen. Their wants do. But he had great faith. Some failed to work who was behind at all for providing anything for their family. And my friends, I think that's a good point for us to remember today. 
that in the midst of all the things, things that we not don't be know, slaughter, the things we don't but see, some the use things their children, we don't understand, so that they can get money remember, from the system. Have faith in God. He's again, for their own selfish he benefits. Is, again, he not will taking be. care of the families. We need to be able to trust in this in Him. We need to look at and the so this morning, Bible I want us to examples. look at some examples. We need to start start watching what the world is doing, and, in, and we doing need to so choose that we recognize to be like Abraham, like to be Abraham, a good provider, chose to be a good father. In Genesis we chapter thirteen, men. And in verse fathers. two, and for all of us, to there be faithful, it says that Abraham, like Abraham was very rich in cattle, faithful. in silver, and in gold. To understand these things, there's you three see, he was rich, which meant his whole family traits, was rich, which meant all of his servants were rich. Abraham. First of those, everyone that was part in your of his clan, clan your bulletin will, outline, so that you can follow with me. Because but he chose Abraham to be present, and he made sure that he his chose to be present. Were provided. We live in a culture today we where do not so know what the many life of Abraham fathers really like are not day present day. for their families. Surely it would have been some taking care of his animals. Some surely other should times be, it would have been and dealing chosen with his business not affairs. To be. Why? Because but some in all of that, careers, he chose to use some business practices, personal interest, some the good of everyone rather any than just himself. number of things that are of distract Abraham nature chose to be maybe a it's even good extra provider, marital, and a good father chooses there no longer to provide for his man children. And their eyes wander the field. Father can't do that if he's and not Satan present. And Satan always makes sure that their eyes Father can't are emulate that if he's not and present. And as a result of their again, Ephesians six and that, verse four, they are bring not them present. up not present in the, the training they and to, they're not present to the children that maybe God Speak has with blessed them with. They are not your present for their they family. Not they have, in essence, abandoned them. The way that God But you see, we can look at the life of Abraham live. and we see Paul just speaking to the, the opposite minister Timothy. We draw our attention here to verse in 19 Timothy, and Abraham never did any eight. of these things. When Paul wrote that first letter to he his was beloved focused on son his family. faith. For I have said to him there, that he may but command if anyone does not provide for his own, after him, and that they keep the way of the Lord for to do righteousness and justice, that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. God was pleased with his faith. He took his family. He was with his family. One who does not provide, and because he was with his family and knew has denied their the needs, and while his work was present with them, than he an was unbeliever. able to meet those Who needs. we already looked at, a good father, in Paul's letter to the Whether Corinthians, then, that we're not today, to be choose yoked with to be Friends, present Friends, we need to family. ask ourselves, by now you talk about your ribbon choosing there in to be a Genesis. good father. I want you to do leave it and turn further into the book. Fathers and find you chapter thirty two for me. For your chapter families. thirty two. God the and Father. Here we is our recognize great provider. Another so trait to be one of, of Abraham. Children. But before we do so, it's let's remember some other names. Always the child a man named Noah. About. A man by the name of Isaac. Another because one by I the name of Jacob. And there was David. And there was Solomon. And there was Zacharias. And, 14, and there were many others. Luke records for and us. none of them were perfect. Nevertheless, he did not leave himself men. without witnesses. And they had their In faults. That he did, all of he us did good. Too. Gave us rain and from what we need to recognize is, is that seasons, we have to choose filling our hearts with food to be present for our families. And gladness. In Genesis 32 and verse Dr. 9, Dodds Moses is still recording for us. Our every need. He records, then Jacob said, O oh, God of my father Abraham, enjoy. and God of my father Isaac, and verse 17, the Lord who said to me, supplies all of our God individual needs, Philippians 4. And verse, and he still is 13, with us, man. A good father. The question is, are we us for his own? He is present, and are we choosing? He is protective. Are we choosing to be he present for our families? Are you following the verse says, of a good father? That the Lord brothers. said to me. May Jacob we encourage is speaking. one another. Return to, to your country and to your family. The best examples in the and world. And I will deal. May we look to well God's word with you. You see, there's an attitude. And by living laid out the there, way God wants us to be. If we stay present for living. our families, if we're devoted to our families, if we to stay make focused God proud of us, supposed to be in our faithfulness, God will deal him well and with his us. Word. But if we don't, to be faithful, we will even the what we do not see. Abandon Hebrews 11 and God will deal with us. 
Because Friends, a father cannot be an example to faith, his children. A father cannot be to please God. the Hebrews husband 11, he needs to be to the woman six. who brought the children into the world. I believe who more he has made a life anything, commitment to. Children is not an example present. of faithfulness. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6 in and in verse fathers. 4, we're reminded, and you fathers and do not provoke your children to wrath, Maybe. but bring them up in the children. training and admonition of the Lord. You cannot bring the them up all of us in the training faithful. and admonition of the Lord if you're not all present. Of us can. And so as we draw so we to our to the region, when all of us and fathers, we need to answer the, the proper question, example of are faith present for our family to our neighbors. And to instead of looking at all the examples our that are in the world, God has blessed us. God will and be. all they want our attention, God will be. Glorified. We need to stop watching 10, them and listening to them. And we need to turn our attention 31. to God's word. The writer of Hebrews We need to listen to the examples that we have. But without faith, it's impossible and to please I want please you to follow him. with we me the ones that, that are outlined in your bulletin. To please God. To the Hebrew writer, and so he says, you let your conduct be without covetousness. Don't because desire many still what you're not supposed to have. Even on a morning be like content now. with such what things is as it you please as God. You see, they're looking for the tangible for things himself that they said, can I will never leave you nor forsake you. For the checklist they can and check. Fathers, we need to be focused on our families. They haven't we realized that it's deeper than that. We need to be focused and present it's relational. for them. And stop looking at everything else in the world that wants to capture. To be a good father, attention. Life changing. Paul said to the church, to be a good church, mother. In First Corinthians chapter eight and verse six, he said there, to yet be for faithful. us there is one God, in the all Father, things. of whom are all things, and we for Him. It's and one Lord Jesus Christ that trusts that God whom is are all things and will, and for whom God live. has been. He is now reminding ourselves of those beautiful words that are at the in beginning the of the book of emails. Ephesians. I don't know if you've in ever chapter received four, one at from the beginning me of that, seen where Paul talks picture. about the oneness of God. But underneath it, he I says explain in verse 6 specifically that there is one life, God and Father of all in the who is above all and through all and in you all. Now that I am a Christian, He's there for every single one of His God family. Has done. All of us. Like and then we have the Abraham. example to be what there for is every doing. single member of our family and what he will do in the future. We can't do that if we're not present. Friends, we have a future with Jesus. Secondly, but each of us needs to know have this. a saving not only faith. Does that a is a faith that believes in Jesus. Is a that is a faith father. that says, going to I know that God is, and, and I know that Jesus so. is, he and I know the Holy Spirit is, to be and I know that they want me to understand in chaos right now. they are behind. He was all, all in of the chaos handiwork in so many ways. So and many were not taking care of their responsibilities. So many were already that being abused. the creation of the world. And, and today's one in verse 20. Many <clears> fathers are not a protection to their family. His they invisible attributes are clearly seen. They're a threat to their livelihood. They're a threat being to their safety. By the things safety. That are made. They're a threat to their health. Even as eternal power and Godhead. Abraham so that we chose are found to excuse. be protected. Fathers, we need to learn to be we understand protective. Friends. We need to choose to be protective. In what we don't see. Some allow their children to do anything they want, In any way they want, any time they want, the way they want. And then there's we pray no for understanding more. It's a friends, there's always faith. been boundaries. Not only that, but that's saving why there faith are, is one that trusts. You shall not do things. There's a lot of anxiety right in now the Bible. world about what's going there on. There are boundaries. And if they apply to us as adults, we got a lot of folks here who apply to us in Florida when we are young. Some fail to care for their children by and providing basic necessities. People, and there still are. And place to sleep. We get excited about numbers going Clothing, up. food, and we forget that Protection. there's more test centers now and there's more capability Abraham now. Abraham was a father. People are doing better at protecting people tested. his family. And so we if have you test more people, you remember you're bound to get more when people this young nephew of his name Lot, and then you treat them. In the treatment process, he and his whole family there. have been taken captive. You see, our trust is not in what we're doing, a king, but who's behind what we're doing. Land. 
And that's God. And Abraham got together he didn't give any of these scientists the servants, uh, and they uh, were he, to he gave all the scientists the knowledge that they had. Lot. They didn't come up with it. Why? Because own. Lot and his family were no longer it's in a, a safe situation. Faith. It's a trust. Abraham and his family and his servants and everybody came together to go and do what was necessary to bring safety with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. Dads, don't lean on your own owner's protection. Choose to be a good father. Look to God. Look to His Word. Learn Abraham him was so concerned about his family. In all family your ways, that acknowledge came time him. For and he Isaac so directed to get a wife. He didn't say, "Well, just look around." You see the son. saving faith that we need. There's just a the lot faith of that girls seeks. Here. We need to seek after just Him. Just Acts 17 and, and verse 26. Begin your family. We need to one seek to know what God wants us to know. And we're so not what the world's easily trying to tell us. snatched away into our emotionalism. This by saving what we faith. See. Is one that'll we change our lives. First John's warning to be careful of the lust of the See, eyes friends, we and need the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. To this. Because we can go be down a road that will destroy and us. And that's what it talks about. Abraham didn't let Hebrews Isaac chapter just 11. go and do that. We no, I, the Abraham sent a servant back to his own land. Of the past. Genesis chapter verse 24 four. and verse 4. By faith, Abel. But you shall go to my country Offered and to my family sacrifice. and take a wife verse for my seven. son Isaac. <laughs> By faith, Noah prepared Why is that the ark. important? Because you see, we By should faith, protect our children also Abraham from obeyed. the circumstances of their Abraham was the example we're using today. To help he was present wisely. There may was protected. Now, that may not set well with a lot of us. He was providing, and I respect that. He but obeyed. it's not in accordance with God's word. A good father and we need to remind ourselves of that. Paul stressed the same. this fact. In first, in and second Corinthians chapter six, believing, verses fourteen like through seventeen. When I was being brought that involves all there was a lot of misuse of this I verse. messed up, I need to fess up. There were some tacky things that's that were said and applied to this verse we that all need never to acknowledge. To be. This God is, is talking about of universe, a child of God ourselves. and a non-member. We all of need God. to be baptized for Pagans, the remission of our sins if we have Pagans, never touched the water. Those that are not safe in God's because relationship, see, when we do, they it are is the, watery the grave ones of that we are not to be one not with, the washing of away of the filth of our bodies. Do not be unequally yoked but the renewing, renewing of our conscience. Renewing so fellowship of our, has righteousness with lawlessness. And what our communion purpose. has light with darkness. And what our accord focus. has Christ with Balliol as we go forward. That's just in simply in implying as he is those in the that follow another God. Saving faith. Like what Abraham part has a believer with an unbeliever to believe in and God? And what agreement has Trust the temple God. of God with Seek idols? God. For you are the temple God. of the living God. And God said... And when you do Listen that, this. you'll be present. I will dwell you'll be with perfect. them, fighting, and walk and among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And all of them, therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean. This morning, and I will Listen. receive you. Has taken there two again, paths. There one is a to talk consequence to about faith for us not following to talk to what God's word says about choices, and we, make. we struggle with that, friends. We're in our world at, today, whatever your need. Because we want to let our children grow None up. None of us is be responsible and make their own choices. All of sin and fall short of the glory of God. We all but need friends, Jesus. I'm just reminding you. We all need to be reminded, choose, gentlemen, of what God says. If we're going to choose to be says, good fathers, we have to do what the God's that, word says. We have more compassion for one another. Says. We have more patience with Secondly, one another. Secondly, you might notice with this idea of protection, a good father chooses to protect his family. Really Again, are. returning to that same so, verse in Ephesians chapter 6 to be and verse 4, father, and you fathers do not provoke your children to wrath, but be bring them up to God. in the training in all of our actions and admonition Let us of be the better. Lord. If you need training to be that is going to be God focused, not Psalms world. chosen. Focused. Won't you come as together we stand? Train up a child stand. in the way they should go, and surely they shall not depart from it. Proverbs 22 and verse 6. Friends, we have example after example. And so we are confronted. I am confronted. With the reality, fathers, are you choosing to provide protection for your family? Once again, the world is not our example base. The Word of God is. 
And when you consider that God the Father, as was mentioned in the communion devotional, that God the Father is the good Father that we emulate and we see His example and His care and His concern. And the psalmist recorded it in Psalm 84 and verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No thing will be withheld from those who walk uprightly. Our Father is going to make sure that we are able to receive what we need. He's going to protect us. He's going to be present to know what we need. And when He knows what we need, He will provide it. I don't know if you've ever heard of the way some, not all, but some Native American tribes would pass their young boys from boy status to brave status. To be called a brave was to be called a man. What they would do is they would come, the braves of the tribe would come and they would take the son and they would take him from the family. And they would escort him out into the wilderness. And it would be in the later part of the day and darkness would be coming. And they would tell this young boy that he must stay there all night. That the training that his father has given him, the knowledge that he has right then, must be that which sustains him through the night. And then, as you can only imagine, in the over-exaggeration of the imagination, every sound, every twig, every stick falling from a tree to the ground, and the imagination adds creatures that are coming to devour the small boy, to destroy him. And all through the night, he has to deal with these circumstances. And then, as the sun begins to rise over the mountain and shine into the forest once again, out of the boy's sight through the night, but there standing with his bow, arrow in hand, knife at his waist, the father stood watch over the child all night long. And when the child saw the father, he would run to him, and whatever their tongue was, he would basically say, Father, you were there all along. Friends, I want you to realize that Abraham was there for his family all along. Wherever they went, whatever they did, whatever they faced, when his family was in need, he went to fulfill that need. He even went as far as offering protection. And friends, we need to be like that today. Fathers, we need to be like that today. And the third character that I want us to notice about Abraham then would simply be that we realize that Abraham was a good father because he chose to be providing. You see, we started off with present and protective, but we need to talk about providing. Some fathers fail in this area. Some work, but use their money for selfish ambition, selfish ideas, selfish pleasure. It could be drinking, it could be other vices like gambling, but their family doesn't come first. Their wants do. Some fail to work at all for providing anything for their family. Some even use children. And this is not meant to be a slur. But some use their children so that they can get money from the system again for their own selfish benefits. Again, not taking care of the families. We need to be good fathers. We need to look at the Bible examples. We need to stop watching what the world is doing and we need to choose then to be like Abraham, to be a good provider. In Genesis chapter 13, and in verse 2, 
There it says, And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. You see, he was rich, which meant his whole family was rich, which meant all of his servants were rich. Everyone that was part of his clan, if you will, was rich because Abraham was. And he made sure that his people were provided for. We do not know what the life of Abraham was really like day to day. Surely it would have been some taking care of his animals. Other times it would have been in dealing with his business affairs. But in all of that, he chose to use good business practices for the good of everyone rather than just himself. Abraham chose to be a good provider. And a good father chooses to provide for his children. A father can't do that if he's not present. A father can't emulate that if he's not present. Again, Ephesians 6 and verse 4, bring them up in the training and admonition. Speak it with your mouth. Show it with your life. They need to not only hear it, but see it the way that God wants us to live. Paul speaking to the young minister Timothy. In 1 Timothy chapter 5 and in verse 8, when Paul wrote that first letter to his beloved son in the faith, he said to him there, but if anyone does not provide for his own and especially for those of his household, he is denied the faith. Remember we talked about God was pleased with his faithfulness. One who does not provide has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever who we already looked at in Paul's letter to the Corinthians that we're not to be yoked with. Friends, we need to ask ourselves when we talk about choosing to be a good father, how are we doing? Fathers, are you choosing to provide for your families? God the Father is our great provider. And I'm so grateful to be one of His children. It saddens me that I'm not always the child that He smiles about. Because I still have my faults. In Acts 14 and verse 17, Luke records for us, Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without witnesses, in that he did, he did good, gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons, filling our hearts with food and gladness. God provides our every need who gives richly all things to enjoy. 1 Timothy 6 and verse 17. Supplies all of our individual needs. Philippians 4 and verse 13. A good father provides for his own. He is present. He is protective. He is providing. Are you following the example of a good father, my brothers? May we encourage one another to do better than the best examples in the world. May we look to God's Word. And by living the way God wants us to be living, to make God proud of us in our faithfulness to Him and His Word. To be faithful even to what we do not see, Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Because without our faithfulness, Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. I believe more than anything, children need to see an example of faithfulness in their own fathers and mothers. Maybe you've never had children. But friends, all of us can be faithful. All of us can. And so as we draw to a conclusion, when all of us are the proper example of faithfulness to our neighbors, 
to our wives if we're married, to our children if God has blessed us. God was, God will be glorified. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 31. The writer of Hebrews tells, but without faith it's impossible to please Him. We need that faithfulness to please God. And so let me give you some examples then of this faithfulness. Because many still ask the question, even on a morning like now, what is it that pleases God? You see, they're looking for the tangible things that they can pick up and hold or the checklist they can check. They haven't realized that it's deeper than that. It's relational. It's life-changing. To be a good father, life-changing. To be a good mother, life-changing. To be faithful in all things. It's a faith that trusts that God is and will. God has been, is now, and will be. On the bottom of my emails, I don't know if you've ever received one of them from me and you've seen the little picture, but underneath it I explain what it means. The goal of life in the limited time that I'm here, now that I am a Christian, is to help people know what God has done like this account with Abraham. What he is doing and what he will do in the future. Friends, we have a future with Jesus. But each of us needs to have a saving faith. That is a faith that believes in Jesus. That is a faith that says, I know that God is and I know that Jesus is and I know the Holy Spirit is and I know that they want me to understand that they are behind all of the handiwork of the heavens. And I didn't have anything to do with it. That since the creation of the world, Romans 1 and verse 20, <clears throat> His invisible attributes are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made, even as eternal power and Godhead so that we are without excuse. By faith, we understand, friends, in what we don't see, in what we understand, and then we pray for understanding more. It's a saving faith. Not only that, but saving faith is one that trusts there's a lot of anxiety right now in the world about what's going on. We get a lot of folks here in, in Florida. And there's been sick people and there still are. And we get excited about numbers going up. And we forget that there's more test centers now and there's more capability now and people are doing better at getting people tested and so if you test more people you're bound to get more people that are positive and then you treat them and the treatment process is going better and you see our trust is not in what we're doing but who's behind what we're doing and that's God he didn't give any of these scientists the, uh, uh, or he, he gave all the scientists the knowledge that they have. They didn't come up with it on their own. It's a faith. It's a trust. Trust in the Lord, Solomon said. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. With all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Dads, don't lean on your own understanding. Choose to be a good father. Look to God. Look to His Word. Learn the examples. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. You see, the saving faith that we need is the faith that seeks. We need to seek after Him. Acts 17 and verse 26. We need to seek to know what God wants us to know, not what the world's trying to tell us. This saving faith is one that will change our lives. 
And friends, we need to all respond to this in obedience. And that's what it talks about in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. We call it the hall of fame of the great examples of the past. Verse 4, by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. Verse 7, by faith, Noah prepared the ark. By faith, Abraham obeyed. Abraham is the example we're using today. He was present. He was protective. He was providing. He obeyed. A good father is going to be one who does the same. And that involves us believing like he did. That, revol that involves all of us recognizing, I messed up, I need to fess up. That's called repentance. We all need to acknowledge God is the center of our universe, not ourselves. We all need to be baptized for the remission of our sins if we have never touched the watery grave of baptism. Because you see, when we do, it is the watery grave of regeneration. Not the washing away of the filth of our bodies. But the renewing of our conscience. Renewing of our, of our thinking. Our purpose. Our focus. As we go forth. To walk in the light as He is in the light. Saving faith. Like Abraham. Chooses to believe in God. Trust God. Seek God. Obey God. And when you do that, you'll be present. You'll be providing. And you'll be protective to your family. And all of that will demonstrate your faithfulness to God. This morning, lesson has taken two paths. One to talk to all of us about faithfulness. One to talk to dads about choices we make. Friends, wherever you're at, whatever your need, none of us is perfect. All of sin and fall short of the glory of God. We all need Jesus. We all need to be reminded of what God says in lieu of what the world says. And when we remember that, we have more compassion for one another. We have more patience with one another. We desire that we can be better than we really are. So, choosing to be a good father, let's be better. Choosing to be more faithful to God in all of our actions, let us be better. If you need to be better this morning, song's chosen. Won't you come as together we stand and sing.